In this video, we will look at how to deploy BusinessWorks Container Edition to Kubernetes using Maven. To do this, we will use the BusinessWorks plugin for Maven. This plugin can be found on GitHub and supports both BW6 and BWCE. It is actually two plugins. One is an Eclipse plugin that enables Studio to generate a Maven palm.xml. The other is a plugin for Maven itself that generates BW packages and pushes the results to your container management system of choice. In this case, Kubernetes. To install the plugin, download and unpack the zip file in a temporary directory. Then run install.sh for Linux or install.bat for Windows. You will be prompted to supply the TIBCO home for your BWCE installation. The installation will take about a minute to complete. To show how this plugin works, here we have a BWC project that provides a simple REST service. It exposes a single Git method named user and replies with a static payload. One feature to note on this project is that it exposes the service on port 8083. We will need to remember this information when we run the Eclipse plugin in a moment. Before we generate the palm file, we will want to make sure Studio knows our target container. In this case, it will be Docker, which, of course, is the underlying container technology of Kubernetes. To do this, go to Windows, Preferences, select Business Works Container Edition, Container Platform, and then choose Docker from the dropdown. When you're done, select OK. If the container type was not previously set to Docker, you will be prompted at this point to restart Business Studio. Now we are ready to create our Maven Palm file. To do this, right click on your project and click on Generate Palm for Application. This will start a wizard to walk you through the process of generating the Palm. If Generate Palm for Application was not visible on the context menu, it means that the BWC Maven plugin is not installed correctly. In the wizard, check Deploy Ear to Docker and click Next. The next window defines the deployment details for Docker. First, we must tell Maven how to connect to the local Docker installation. The Docker host field should be set to the URL for your Docker daemon. If the Docker daemon requires an SSL authentication, the cert path field should be set to the path of your certificate. In this case, our Docker daemon does not require SSL, so we may simply ignore this field. The image name field should contain the location of the Docker image we want to create. My image name is a fairly long one because I'm creating it in a repository that is defined on AWS. Regardless, the standard notation format for Docker image locations applies. That is repository name, colon, and a tag name. The BWC image field should point to the location of the BWC base image, which was supplied by TIBCO. If you have not already loaded this image into your Docker environment, you will need to do so before running the generated POM file. Again, use the standard notation of repository name, colon, tag name. To complete this page, check the Kubernetes box and click on Next. On the next screen, enter an RC name and service name. These names must be unique within your Kubernetes namespace. And make sure not to use capital letters for either name. The container port field should match the service port that you defined in your project. As we stated earlier, this project exposes a service on port 8083. Our project is very simple and we could use the default environment variable shown here. However, the ABC equals XYZ property that is shown here is just an example and is not necessary. I will also go ahead and add a standard BW environment variable that controls the logging level. And in case I have any issues while testing my project, I will set the log level to debug for now. When everything is set, click on Finish. Once we refresh the Navigator pane, we can see there is a new project with a .parent suffix that contains our palm.xml file. The generated palm.xml can now be executed like any standard Maven build. To execute it within Studio, right-click on the palm.xml file and select Run As Maven Build. Set the goals shown here. 
The install goal will create a standard bw.ear file on the local disk. The initialize goal will tell the BW Maven plugin to load the deployment properties into memory. The Docker build goal will create the Docker image. The Docker push goal will push that image to the AWS repository our Kubernetes deployment uses. The Fabric 8 JSON goal will create a Kubernetes JSON for your Maven project. The Fabric 8 apply goal will apply that JSON into Kubernetes itself. When everything is set, click on Run to execute the build. The console will appear to show the progress of your build. Completing the build may take a few minutes depending on network speeds and the size of your ear file. To access our deployed service, we need a valid URL. To find the URL, we will use the Cube Control command line tool. The same information may also be discovered through the Kubernetes web UI. Enter this URL into a browser and add the suffix slash swagger. This will return the service testing page that is automatically implemented by BWCE. To run a test, click on the Expand Operations link and then the Try It Out button. In the Response Body section, we see a valid result indicating that our deployment worked and our service is running. This concludes our video on how to deploy BusinessWorks Container Edition to Kubernetes using Maven.